Hmm. Almost out of wood. And all of the wood I've got stacked, split, is uh, this past year's wood. It's not seasoned yet. But, got to get that shovel up. It's blown down. I love how the roof, uh, I've got tin on top of the roof. A few weeks ago it melted, it was melting temperatures and it slid down. That's all right. Well, I've got wood, bull choice for wood is really next year's wood. Same as the wood that I just showed you. It's next year's wood. It's not seasoned yet on the outside here, but the old, the newest wood is on the outside. Back behind is the oldest wood, and that might be ready to use to burn. I don't know, but I want to get at it. Well, I could go through there, but unfortunately the. Uh, snow on the roof of that shed shed itself down that's a big mess to try to get through I'm thinking maybe if I take the wood slats off the back I could get access to the wood behind. So, hmm, go in from this way. Get out the snow blower and dig me a path to it. Yeah, so that's the plan. One concern I've got is what's hiding below, beneath snow on the ground, like chunks of wood that are going to get caught up in the impeller. <laughs> I did that a few weeks ago, trying to go beside the garage where all we've got for ground cover there is uh, landscape fabric underneath and then stones. Well, I picked one up and eh, boom, snow blower quit just now. Oh, shit. Did I break a uh, shear pin? Well, no, I didn't. I had just gotten it stone wedged in there. I got it out and it, it went. So, hopefully, it's astonishing how in the fall, before the snow comes, we don't think about what's going to be covered up underneath the snow once we get two and a half feet of snow on top of it. And back behind the shed there's a pallet. That's what I was rocking back there. Let's see if I can break it loose. Now it's frozen down to the ground. Now, These buckets of foundation coating cement block 
I wondered what that hump in the snow was. Well, I found out. So, I've got to take the screws out. Fortunately, I used screws. Take them out. Eight foot long. Well, I'll see. What we can do is what we can do. Maybe I'll get another couple weeks worth of wood out of there. <laughs> you know, if I waited a couple months, this would take care of itself. But after a couple months, I won't need firewood. The roof on this thing is plywood. It doesn't have tin on top of it. That's why the snow is sticking and not sliding off beautifully. I'm glad it didn't this year because I'd have to shovel that out of here too. There we go.
that. So I think that they are they are not the moment for all, for those three campaigns to kind of to, to fight it out. NPR News is member supported. Build her a doghouse, and that's where she'll have to live. Not just during shedding times, but every day of her life. Secretary of State Mike Pompeo said the U.S. will be watching closely to see if the Congress...